Pancetta is a delicious and fun alternative to traditional bacon. Most of us are used to using a good old Hickory American uh, smoked bacon product, but pancetta is an Italian style bacon that's not smoked. What I thought we would do with this today is a simple pancetta wrapped shrimp. It's a wonderful combination. It's easy to do. It's easy to feed a crowd with these and it takes very little technique really to pull this off. These are also fun because they can be put on the place on the sheet pan ahead of time and simply baked off when you're ready to serve. There's really no last minute preparation involved. I have some nice large shrimp here. These are 1620 count. That refers to how many it takes to make a pound. And what I'm going to do is peel these, except for the final tail segment. Now, often I like to take that off uh, depending on what I'm doing with the shrimp, but in the case of something like this, this makes a nice little handle for the finished product, so I tend to leave it on there. Now, you can use it as is. If you prefer to get the vein out of the shrimp, um, that's easy to do as well. Just down the back of the shrimp, take a paring knife and just slice in there just a little bit, like a quarter of an inch is fine. And you'll find that little vein back there that you can scrape out. But once you have sliced and cleaned that out, simply take a slice of pancetta and ask your guy at the deli counter or the lady at the deli counter slice this really thinly for you because it certainly wraps better and clings to itself. Um, better if you do. So simply take that, and it doesn't need to be perfect, sort of give it a rustic feel just to roll a slice of that around as such. You want to place them on a lined sheet pan. We're using a Silpat pan here today. You could also use parchment paper if you'd like, or even the spray, but I think Silpat is, is my favorite way to go. Uh, they're so wonderfully non-stick, and it doesn't require using any sprays and things that you have to purchase constantly. All right, so once that's on there, what we're gonna do is just take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it on, doesn't take much, and then give it a little pinch of salt. It doesn't need a whole lot because you're picking up some salt from the pancetta for sure. And then a little grind of cracked black pepper. Now, these are ready to go in the oven. Um, they can sit, as I mentioned, all ready to go and you can bake them last minute. Seafood in general cooks very, very quickly because of the lack of connective tissue that's there. So you really want to not overdo these. 350 or 400 degree oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. Just until they're firm and really starting to curl up is plenty to get these done.